can get a better feeling for the wave motion by just animating the top line of the or the bottom line of the flag. For now we are starting only with our key drawings. Like you see we are already getting a wave motion. Now it's just a time or a matter of experimenting, creating a new layer, using your onion skin, flipping back and forth to get a feeling if the animation is working or not working. Where we're moving like that part slowly forward. Now into a C curve. Now into a S curve. And I'm always thinking going from S to C curve, S to C curve. Here, like this was our first drawing, an S curve. Again, an S curve, but we move this mass forward into a C curve. What's coming after the C curve? The S curve. Next wave, the next blow of wind going into the flag. This wave moves more down. And what's cool about here is this kind of starting to animate a flag. We can see more quickly if the animation works. And if we're happy with it, we could also like add in-betweens now or start to sketch other side of the flag. What's more easy in the beginning, that the top line and the bottom line look identical. Not 100% identical, but almost. If you're looking at a realistic flag animation, there are so many folds in this flag. Also like have the S curves, like here. And here you can also see really good that the top part and the bottom part are similar, but not identical. Another thing that's important when sketching a flag, you want to think about the size of your flag. So in a flat position, if your size looks like that, it's helpful to split it up. We can split it up. It's three equal parts, almost don't have to be perfect. And now it's important when sketching your flag, we are starting with an S-curve, that your flag don't get longer. If I'm not splitting up like that, I'm not really sure how long is this part here right now. It can't be longer like that. So do something like that, like adding a curve here. Looks good, but we're breaking the original size of the flag. If we want to do something like that, we have to make the beginning, the first two beginning part a little bit more short. Part one, part two, and now part three can be folded. Let's continue to sketch our flag or S curve, S curve. Transition to the next S curve and now we get our first C curve. I mean we could also add a little bend to it like that maybe. Next frame and also if you're not sure just experiment. It just also takes us the time and try different options um, like which drawing could fit here and then flip through your drawings and see if it feels right, if it looks smooth. Um, another thing we could also add more in-betweens to make it more smooth. Let's do it like that. Our last C-shape will fold here. Looks cool I would say. Then something you can add, like we like we saw here, is to add some stripes to show a little bit more of the fold of the C and S curves that are happening on top and or at the bottom, also in the middle of the flag. So it looks a little bit more realistic and for the viewer it's easier to grasp the whole motion. You're immediately going to see if you're breaking the proportions of your flag. Does this work? I think so. Like with this line following uh, more that line and with this line I'm following more that line. Always thinking about the fold, the S curves, the C curves it's to looking good I would say more slowly. It's a super cool exercise to get a better feeling for 2D animation. I hope you learned a little bit. See you in the next stream.